Hey guys, welcome to the studio today. Absolute, absolute crazy story. I still can't believe it. I'm a little shocked. At the same time, honored in a weird way. And I feel like this is the absolute end to the music industry. That's kind of the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. There's a lot of stuff going wrong, as you know, with labels, with artists, with touring, not getting paid and all kinds of issues. I even have like a big issue um, with a label, but I can't talk about it right now. Big story soon, once I'm allowed to tell you everything about it. Today is about this one thing that happened to me. Before we get right into it, there is a new sample and sound preset pack with kicks and presets for Vital if you're interested. Huge lead synthesizer sounds, pads and um, brass sounds, as well as effect sounds. Link down below in the description. First link, go check it out. It's now at an introductional price. And it's really amazing. It's the best pack I've ever created. And it uses Vital as a synth, which is free, so everyone can use it and make the same sounds. We also did a lot of um, analog wavetables, just especially you only get them in this pack, really juicy, saturated, old vintage, kind of fat analog sound. But yeah, let's get to the, to the part that really shocks me. I made a song two years ago, roughly two years ago. I sent it out to a label, one of the biggest in the industry, and they got back to me, they listened to it, they were like, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, but it just doesn't fit right now, like the usual excuse that I'm already used to, which is fine. I mean, I'm not forcing anyone to release my music. I thought it's good. I thought it fits right into the style of the label and was also up there with all of the other releases quality-wise. And they said, no, we don't feel it. Maybe keep us updated, maybe later, just right now, not. The song was sitting on my hard drive for a while and then someone approached me to ghost produce for them and we're asking for a song that actually fits to that label. So I sent it over to them, they loved it. They signed it, I signed an NDA, so I can't tell you who it actually is. And they then apparently approached the same label, maybe a year later, and actually got it signed to that label. <sighs> Which feels very weird, because it actually means they like the song, but they don't like me. <laughs> So apparently my Instagram following isn't big enough. That other person is already a known artist touring worldwide and has a medium to medium big kind of sized audience playing in front of thousands of people. And that's apparently what counts more. It's the same song. I haven't changed anything about it. I'd even argue it dated a little because it's not like that fresh and what everyone was listening to at the moment. And... I don't know. I kind of feel screwed. <laughs> it's my song. It should have been on that label. It's not. It would have been a big push for my career. And now it's pushing someone else's career. Yes, I got paid. It's fine. Legally, everything. There's nothing I can do about it. But it um, makes me really feel sad and unmotivated, to be honest. Because it shouldn't be that way. The music should count. And I think labels have the opportunity to help new artists especially if they make something they actually like, apparently. It's weird. It's really weird. But I'm learning at least one thing. I need to grow my following, my Instagram, and, uh, I don't know, get touring, get huge crowds in front of me, because apparently that's what counts more than the music. Very strange. It also got remixes by some of the biggest artists that I really admire. So I feel honored that someone is actually working on my song. But on the other hand, there's no one that knows about it. It's really weird. And it even went to the top 100 Beatport charts. <sighs> but yeah, that's just the way it is. I will work harder, do even more as much as I can. Keep you guys updated here on this channel. Again, if you're interested in that preset Vital Pack, it's linked down below in the description. It's really the best I've ever made. Like, all of the analog stuff is in there, all of the sounds that I'm right now using on my new project, huge lead synthesizer sounds. Here's an example of one of the songs that I'm working on right now.
you want to have that sound easy and simple to use for your songs, just click down below on the link. And it also supports this channel, of course. Thanks all for watching. Let me know what you think about the situation. It's kind of funny and sad at the same time. Let me know what you think is really screwed up about the music industry. There's a lot more happening. Spotify is like screwing everyone, management, artists, labels. It's not good right now and AI is taking over. So stay tuned, more stuff coming right here on this channel.